Margaret Gardner from Hollywood. Hello, Calvin. Hello. When you opened your mouth and sang, I was, is this Calvin Harris or Calvin Harrison Jr.? You <laughs> have pipes on you, baby. Um, uh, talk about that. Was singing your backup career? I mean, how come you aren't on the charts? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, I just think, you know, my parents are musicians, so I, I, I've always had a, a love and respect for music, and I play jazz piano and trumpet, so that music has always been a part of my life, but when, when I became older, I, you know, similar to Tracy's story, I just didn't want to try to live up to that. They were so well respected, and I was like, I want to go in my own lane. I still understand art and conversation and tone, and I was like, acting can kind of still execute some of those same um, sensibilities, but uh, singing has been something I loved and I always wanted to do, but I was just too scared and seeing her kind of just go through this experience empowered me to do it too. I'm so glad that you did. I can't wait to hear more. Um, there's that scene in the movie where you wear just this, I'm sorry, a horrendous jacket and Dakota tells you it's bad and you go ahead and wear it anyway because you like it. So yeah. how influenced are you by what people say to you? Um, you know, I, I went through a period of my life where it was just constantly, I wanted validation from everyone. And when you, and I tried to apply every note. So if it was good, I wanted to apply it to keep doing it. If it was bad, I wanted to fix it and so that I would never do it again. It, it got overwhelming and I was like, I can't actually fulfill all the requests. And then I started to realize it was like, no one's truly, you know, what people say about you is, you know, a little bit of reflection of, you know, how they see themselves. So I've taken the negative things and put them away. Um, the positive, it's a wonderful thing, but also it doesn't necessarily tell me any more about myself than I'm, I'm trying to figure out for me. So I, I think I just take every day with, um, tell me who do you want to be? Who do you love and who do you respect? And what do you, do, and do, how do you want to match that energy? And that is just keeping that as my, my code. You know, I'm a huge fan of your work. I loved uh, Monsters and Men, Waves. Uh, this is a slightly different direction. And I think that you need a lot of confidence to go and break barriers. Um, she calls you insecure in this movie. Are you now more secure than you used to be? I definitely think so. I think, you know, there's always those moments when, you know, I mean, just a couple nights ago, I was thinking, I was like, oh my God, this movie's coming out. Like everyone's gonna like think I'm a, a fraud. They're gonna go, why didn't they, you know, why didn't they cast, you know, why didn't they cast someone else? <laughs> um, and I, I never, you know, we have those moments, but I, once again, I just have to remind myself that I, I did this because I wanted to grow and because I had something to say and someone believed in me and I did my best. And hopefully people will recognize the humanity in the process. Um, I think we're always in process, each one of us as an artist. And that's, that's what the story is about for me. I think each one of us is a human. So you work with the great Dakota Johnson. Did you learn anything about her that you could share with us that isn't too personal, but maybe something we don't know? That, I mean, other than the fact that she, I mean, we saw her in the movie, she has a beautiful voice that I wanted to hear more of. I mean, when that, that little piece that is so silky and, you know, she, 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 she has a true musician's ear that I just, I, I, I wish I would get to play more with her. And she had a band, she told me. I don't know if she's mentioned that. She used to have a band back in the day that she used to be a part of. And um, I don't know. I think DJ is DJ's, DJ's a special, special woman and she's so smart. And I'm, I'm, I'm just constantly learning about how she collaborates and how she commands a space when she enters it with respect and with love and with patience with all of us. And I think that's been such a, a wonderful gift to see someone still so young and has accomplished what she's accomplished do that in that way. Um, yeah. Uh, as you wrap up very quickly, how have you been spending a stay home? I've just been reading. I've been reading a lot of books. Uh, I've been reading a lot of James Baldwin. Um, I've been reading my Angelou poetry books, cooking. I'm trying to learn how to sew. So I was like, you know, everybody else took like home ec back in the day and, and they know how to do practical things. And I haven't learned how to do anything. So I'm like, I need to learn how to build things, fix things. I'm trying to get married at 30, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I need to be the man of the house. <laughs> Listen, just sing to them and they'll be yours. Thank you so much. Thank you.